Hi guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do an adult colouring chat. So just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. Um, the videos are for adults. They're not in any way, shape or form made for or intended for children. Um, we do discuss <coughs> adult topics here. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since we've done a colouring um, chat, so I thought I'd do Magical Delights by Clara Markova, somebody asked for this. I will be doing a Unicorns by Jade Summer. But uh, obviously Anne recently did that, so I don't want to do it too soon. It'll probably be the next one. So it was very hard to choose a, a picture from this. Uh, but I've chosen, if I can find it... Oh, I can't get back to it. This one, of the, of the the candle, there's a little fairy sleeping in the... You know, I think it's a pomegranate by the look of it. So we're going to do that one. So we're going to use polychromos. I don't know what this is going to be like on this paper. Never coloured in this book, so... It's very smooth, it's quite nice. So let's have a look. So I'm just going to start on the lamp itself, just to have a go and see how we get on. So, for the lamp at the moment I'm using green gold. I think it's a lovely colour. I was using it on something else the other day. This goes on very smoothly, very nicely. So I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, oh dear, I'm just dropping everything everywhere today. It's been one of those days. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me and welcome back to everybody who um, has been with me for a while. I do appreciate every single one of you. So how are you all faring in uh, lockdown, however tight it still is wherever you are in the world? Um, obviously I'm still in Wales, so we're still under quite, well it's not a tight lockdown. We're allowed to go out to exercise as much as we want. Um, uh, garden centres and recycling centres have now been allowed to open. And I think it's good that the garden centres are open because some people garden because it's good for their mental health. And I think people's mental health is really suffering at the moment because of, of the lockdown. Personally, I'm doing fine. I'm loving being at home with Jennifer. It was a bit hard today and I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but generally I'm enjoying spending the time at home with her and Paul working from home, not having to drive, not having to do the traffic. Um, you know, which is, um, Paul doesn't have his two hour commute. It's an hour each way for Paul. Sometimes longer if he misses the train, they're only one an hour. And for me, although it doesn't take me an hour to get there, I usually have to leave about 40 minutes before I'm due to start, obviously, because I've got to drop Jennifer off at nursery and or, or at mum and dad's if they're, if she's with them there. So it is, um, it's nice not to have to do that. I still get up a good hour before my shift. I'm not one of these people who can roll out of bed and just start. I can't, I've got to get up. I've got to have a couple of cups of tea and get myself psyched up to do it. So for instance, this morning I got up, I worked today, I've had a few days off and I worked today and I got up at the normal time. Uh, the alarm goes off at 10 to seven, I get off at seven, I get up at seven. I had a cup of tea and some toast and then I went and put the washing on the line because it's very hot here at the moment. Um, it's not hot compared to some places like Australia when they get really hot or even Africa but for the UK it's pretty hot and I'm not one of those people who can stand that it's not that I don't mind it being hot I don't mind the hot um it's I get burnt very easily by the sun I come out in a heat rash um I like the sun I just don't like it when it gets so hot that I can't you can't do anything it's just constantly burning on you and I don't feel that way when I'm on holiday for some reason but uh, at home when I'm in the garden if it's so hot I can't, I can't stick it I mean I was out with Jennifer today because she wanted to go out the back I didn't want to go out because I knew it would be hot and but she wanted to go out so I took her out she got her toys out of the shed she played with her for two minutes put them back played with her ball for a couple of minutes went and stood by the gate and I said do you want to go back in and she she went yeah I said are you sure you want to go back in and she blew on her hands as if to say it's too hot mum I said is it too hot and she went yeah so we went back in and that happened twice but she wasn't very well today she had a bit of a dicky tummy um i think the heat's got to her as well 
so she wouldn't eat her tea. She has eaten, she just didn't want that. She's uh, been to the loo several times, so she's not 100% well. Poor kid. So. She, uh, I said, are you putting on a brave face? Are you being brave for mummy? And she went, yeah. I said, you don't have to be brave for mummy. If you're ill, you tell mummy, mummy look after you. Poor kid, she was... And then she just threw herself in my arms. We were sitting in the garden because it was a lot cooler and this was about seven o'clock before, we before she went to bed. And I just held her in my arms for a bit and she just clung to me and, and just snuggled in and she doesn't do that very well. So I know that she's not feeling very well. So one thing about the polychrome is I do like a really sharp point on them. But I do like these pencils. I know they, they are expensive. Um, and I know not everybody can afford them, which is why I am still working on my budget friendly series. I'm currently working on the Black Widows. Once I've done Black Widows, I'm going to do one on the Crayola pencils as long as Jennifer hasn't destroyed them. Um, I actually quite like the way that they worked. I've done one picture with them and it came out really well. So hopefully I'll have the Black Widow one finished soon. And then they've got their new pencils coming out soon. They were hoping to have them out in mid-June. Now they've, they've been postponed to July. There was a, a defect with the tin that they come in and they want it all to be right, so they've put it back. So while that's disappointing, I think it's lovely that they take their quality control very seriously. And I really look forward to buying an, a set of the, the new pencils when they come out. So I should have hopefully some birthday money because it's my birthday at the end of June. So I put them towards my new set of uh, Black Widows. Although I do want to either get the Castle Arts or the <coughs> Arteezers at some point. And I want the 120 set. But we'll see. See how much birthday money I get. Paul will be continuing my subscription for Colouring Heaven. So now I, I'll admit I counted my colouring books today. Today is Wednesday, the twenty something of May, twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Wednesday, the twenty seventh of May. So I counted all my colouring books, and as of today, the twenty seventh of May, two thousand twenty, I have two hundred and twenty two colouring books and three swatch books. And you know I'm not going to stop. You know I'm going to buy more. So, it's very naughty of me, I know. But I can't help it. I just like, I like getting new books. And I do, I love getting the new books. I, I can't wait to see what the next Jade Summer's going to be. I've ordered the Sarah K. Curry and Heaven Collection one. Apparently the sneak peek's out for the, the next subscriber issue, but I haven't seen it because that email actually gets sent to Paul rather than myself, so... I have not seen it. So I might ask him tomorrow. He was in a bit of a bad mood today because he had a hell of a day at work. So even though he works from home, he had uh, training all morning and then he had meetings all afternoon. So of course when he's doing that, he's not actually doing any work. And then he gets people asking him why it's not been done. Well, poor fellow was in a bit of a a strop but of course because he was in meetings all afternoon and he was training all morning I had to miss a training session today because they dropped it on us Paul's have been booked in for months but of course <clears throat> normally when I do a training session he watches Jennifer but of course if he's training he can't because he, he does, does he does his training upstairs because it's just easier than trying to cope with doing it downstairs with Jennifer and it was my idea I said why don't you do it upstairs and any meetings it's going to be quieter because you can't tell a two-year-old to be quiet she doesn't understand you can tell her but she's not necessarily going to do it so he's been doing his meetings upstairs in the um the bedroom so it's not ideal but it's better than and nothing so he's um this color it's really nice isn't it this greeny gold color it's actually called olive gold or something green olive gold or something like that 
green gold. It's lovely. So you can hear I've got the window open, it's so hot you can hear my neighbours outside. Because my next door neighbour, his mum lives literally opposite <laughs> over the road. So, which is okay, she, they're all really nice. So. At least they get to see each other because they can just talk across the street. <laughs> they don't even need to go out. So, I had an email from my brother in New Zealand, he's fine, he's still working from home, he's, his job's okay at the moment, um, though he does work for an airline, so let's just have to see what happens with that I think. I don't know how long this video is going to be, not that long I don't think, because obviously I've got work tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, because I'm filming this on Wednesday night. I mean, I'm not one of those who can actually film everything in one go and make it sound like it's all... Yeah, this is actually being filmed on this date, but no, it's not, because, you know. The only thing I haven't got, I haven't got my swatch book up here because it's actually um, downstairs because I'm working on the Black Widow picture for the Black Widow video. I've filmed me showing you some blending colours and now I'm going away to finish the picture and then I'll come back and I'll do the background um, and when I've done the background you know I'll do the background uh, on camera like I did the one in the Alice book where I show you how the, pen, the colours blend into each other um, so. so yeah it's uh, I'm, I'm colouring loads not as much this month as the last month I finally did do a bit more on my Marilyn diamond painting but I've been using pencils a bit more this month I find that I, I'm using the markers a lot and I really do enjoy using the markers, but I've got so many pencils, I don't want to not use them at all because it's a waste of money. I've spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds on my pencils. You think I've got polychromos are not cheap and I got mine, I think, for 120. And, um... Yeah, I got mine for about 120, I think. And my prism colours, <clears throat> they were 80. So, you know, it's, it's... It's just, you know, you just don't know what to do, really. Um, I want to use my pencils sometimes, not always. But, um... It would be easy to say, oh, I'm just going to do marker work because markers are so easy to do. And believe me, they are. But they're not that easy. I'll just do that like that. Bit of yellow there. Um, it's easy in the sense that it's easy to do. Um, especially if you're doing a grayscale book. It's fantastic. But it's also very difficult because you've got the... Um, lugging the big pack of them around and I find that that can be a bit of a problem I've got my my Artesas, the, the bag is so big that I started doing one outside in, I can't remember what book it was I think it was a Jade Summer book in fact that makes, I mean I've probably got 223 Because there must be a book down 20, 23 or 24 downstairs somewhere that I haven't finished. I don't know. Anyway, it's around the 220 something mark. And, uh,.
I find because Jennifer at the moment is in and out like a yo yo, it's very, very difficult to carry them in and out. So it's easier to just take a bag of with pencils in. So that's why I've uh, been using my pencils a bit them all this week and this month. Like I said, I did one with the Crayolas, which you'll see. I do like this paper. It's very smooth, but it's very nice. It's actually very nice to work with. Um, so I've gone out a bit of the lines, but I'm not too worried. But there we go. I'm so what colour should I do the candle? I'm going to ask you guys. I'm not going to do the candle tonight. What colour should I do the candle itself? Shall I do it white? Shall I do it cream? Shall I do it red? Shall I do it blue? Shall I do it black? Let me know. It's got a little fairy in the pomegranate here. So I'll get the flesh tones out. I think I'll go for a pinky flesh tone. What colour is this? That's dark flash. It's very they call it dark flash. It's very pink actually, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that just to give it a go there. I think it's very red. It's good for doing blush and stuff, but uh, I'm just gonna do different Because it's fairy, it can be any colour it wants to be. It's not a normal colour I'd choose for sort of a fleshy colour, but it is a fairy and I think it looks fine. Now, some greens. What's that one? So I'm just having a quick look for some greens that will go nicely together. That is called leaf green. What's this green? Which is a bit darker, but not a lot darker. Permanent green. Mm, okay, we use those two. This isn't going to be a huge long video. We're only we're only actually eighteen minutes in. Um, but I've, I have got work tomorrow, so we might do this over three videos. But I really do like the paper. The paper's absolutely smooth as silk. I mean, sometimes I like a paper with a bit of tooth and sometimes I like it really smooth. I guess it depends on what I'm colouring and what the subject matter is. But this paper in this book is lovely. I am totally going to have to get some more Clara Markova books. I'm trying to get them order in, in the order they were published. But obviously it depends. I might have to get one in June. See, I've been ordering stuff for my mum and getting it delivered to her house because she she doesn't they don't trust the internet um, from Amazon. Um, and she owes me about a hundred quid. To be fair, it is after today. I ordered her something today, so I'm thinking. What I might do is um, when she get I get that money from my mum is I might order two of them then. Um, the reason she hasn't given it to me is at the moment the bank is only allowing people to phone up if they've lost their cards. 
for fraud, for things like that. They're not allowing people to phone up and do banking. And as my mum doesn't trust the internet, she doesn't do internet banking. I'm going to have to put the fan on in a minute, so I'm probably going to have to stop because it's absolutely sweltering in here. Um, so she won't have an. She used to have online banking, and she actually asked them to cancel it, which is fair enough. She doesn't want to trust it. That's fine. I don't have a problem. I can wait for the money, but it means I've got. Well, I know it's at a hundred quid because I ordered her something that was thirty quid today. And um, so I think once I get that money back in, I think I'll, uh, I think I will get myself two more of the car on my cover. It's only four so far, so that'll leave me with just the one. I think that's right, in it? It's Tentful Enchantments, Fairy Miracles and Fairy Celebrations are the other three. I've still got two Hannah Carlson's to get and I think another one or two Maria Trollet. I'm not sure. It is nice to get another book off the shelf of ones I haven't coloured in yet. To be fair, it is nice because it takes that down. I've got so many books I haven't coloured in <laughs> that uh, it's actually really nice to uh, to get another one. So. There's not a lot of difference in these colours, but it's still nice. Yeah. So we'll, uh, I, I think I'll order myself those too. I, I, I'm not in any rush. I mean, I might get them before, might get one before then and order the last two, but it really depends. It does really depend on how it goes. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to order the second one, which was Tenderful Enchantments, I believe, because I would really like that very soon. And if the, I know, I'm sure she's got another one coming out soon. At least I hope so. I know Johanna Bash has got a new one coming out next year. Maria Trelle is working on a new one. Anna Lynn's been working on new ones. Deborah Muller seems to put them out every couple of weeks. Um, Jade Summer obviously puts one out every week. Although they haven't announced one for this week, but it might have been because, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there was holidays in um, over here, and I know it was a Memorial Day in the States, so... I don't know. Maybe they... Because it's a been a holiday they're a bit behind normally by now they've posted a sneak peek of the the book that just the cover and the t so you know what the title is and the uh, but uh, nothing so far this week hopefully it'll go out soon because i love to see it the only problem is that what happens is when jade summer releases a new book i order the new book and i order one of the older books as well and there are a heck of a lot i haven't got that i want so we're at 24 minutes now, almost, which is great. We'll carry on for a bit longer doing these uh, leaves. Um, these are definitely pomegranates. I recognise them because we used to eat pomegranates when I was a kid. Oh, look, there's another little fairy there and there's one up there. I'll do their skin. I'll do them different different colours, I think. I might do that one blue. Yes. They can be different coloured fairies. That's a cool idea, isn't it? You know, a pink, blue, and maybe a purple fairy. I haven't decided. So you can't see that. It's just something I've noticed on the picture. So I'm just doing these silly leaves at the moment. So this one's going to take a while for me to do because I do want to try and do it justice. But like I said, any idea on what your colour you think the candle should be? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll. Uh, have a look at what I think because I haven't got a clue because white doesn't really show up and uh, yeah so I'll do a little bit more I 
I'm still doing eBay if anybody was wondering I've got one return coming but that's a, a mis my fault I made a mistake in the list then so it's understandable and I'm happy for that it's my own fault for being stupid it's one I listed so long ago that I'm a lot more careful these days I triple check everything before I put it live you still make mistakes because we're all human um, but I don't know I listed five yesterday and I sold four today so that's pretty good going I'm happy with that And I've listed five more today. So. But because Jennifer was ill and Paul was in meetings, I didn't get to photograph anything, which is annoying. I got, I'm going to have to photograph some stuff tomorrow just to make sure. I've got, I've got quite a lot of stock at the moment, so I need to, I need to start getting it listed because it's not earning me money while it's sitting in a bag. I've got two, still got two and a half bags in, in the hallway because I'm trying to, make a dent in what's up here once I've made a dent in this and some of the big some of the items in there are quite bulky so if I do 10 tomorrow I think I'll be able to bring up the rest of that second bag which will be great um because I haven't looked, I've got two bags that are still sealed. I haven't opened them, I haven't looked in them to see what's in there. And I do like to look, I do look to see if there's anything that will fit me. And if there was something that fitted me that I liked, I would probably just take it out and keep it. I don't buy a lot of new clothes anymore. Sometimes I do if I really like something, you know. But generally I tend to... When I'm sourcing for stock, if I see something I like, I'll keep it. If it's in my size, I'm getting cramp. I'm gonna have to move. Ah. <clears throat> I quite like this new filming location. It's just not the easiest thing to sit on. We are getting very close to the uh, time, where it shuts off at 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna sharpen my pencils and we'll do some more leaves. I like the videos to be about 40 minutes long. They're not too long then, but they're not so short that you think, oh, she can't have done much. And I haven't done much, I've got to be honest. I haven't done very much at all. I don't want you to see my foot either. <laughs> there you go. Here we go, we do this one now. I do like this book. I know some people prefer the, the, the later ones, but I've only got this one. I'm very pleased. It was very, very expensive, which is why I'm wary of colouring in it. But then I was with Serene because that was a very expensive book as well. And I've coloured one picture in there, so I must do something in there. I do know what one I want to do. Um, I want to do The Angel. I'm going to do it as a stone angel, like a weeping angel from Doctor Who. But I want to do it with markers and pencil over the top, which is not something I normally do. And the reason for that is I get bored very quickly. I'm not an artist. I'm not a trained artist, obviously, as you know. Everything I, I do, I do it my own way. And... I want to colour, but I want to colour different things. So I, I I can manage to layer on some of these pictures without any problems. But it's if I have to get the you know loads of layers and stuff, I don't want to do it. And when I've coloured something with markers, I think, well, I've coloured it already. I don't want to colour it again. But I might wait until I get the Arteza greys, so I can try and blend some of the different greys in together on on the picture before I put the, the pencils over it. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. I have got a lot of grey markers actually. I've still got my Touch 5s as well. It's going to go off any minute or second actually. There we are. Stopped. Started again. <laughs> so. We'll do another 10 minutes or so. Um, 
and I know this is probably boring but I do tend to try and do things like all the leaves in one go it's just the way I, I work around a picture and do all the leaves or all the particular types of flowers and especially if I'm using the same colours on them obviously with the fairies I'm going to be using different colours for their bodies so I haven't done a lot on this yet. But like I said, I want to take it fairly easy and try and do the best I can with it. I, you know, it's a, an expensive book. So I want to try and... do it justice. Maybe. But also remembering I've got to get up for work in the morning. Mm, never mind, could be worse. At least I've got a job. Several jobs. Because <laughs> obviously I'm mummy. That's the most important job. And then of course I've got my job job. My money job. And I've got my eBay, which I do make a little bit of money off most months, not every month. I probably will make a little bit of profit this month, but not much, because I have bought a lot of stock. And at one point I thought I'm going to end this in a major deficit, but I've had some good sales over the last couple of days, so I think I might just make a bit of profit. I'm not worried about taking it out, it can just sit there. greenery on this picture oh my back's aching so I'm just going to do these two here and then that's going to be it for tonight there are a few more leaves we'll carry on with them next time or I'll do them off camera probably do them off camera because I'm not going to finish that this one this in May is going to be one of ones for June I think just because it's going to take a little while and then I'll um I think it's going to be over three videos so you know it might be finished this month but I don't think so I don't know what half of the things are I know that's a pomegranate I don't know what that is I don't know what these are doesn't really matter does it it's a fairyland I can do if I wanted to do green pomegranates I could if I wanted to do purple with orange spotted ones I could okay There we go. I think that'll do for tonight. It's only because I've got work in the morning, so I've got to get ready. I've got to get to bed. So my pencil's back that I'm using. And I'll just zoom out so we can uh, see what we've done so far. So that's how it's looking so far. Not a huge amount done. Uh, we've done part of the lamp, we've done the flame, and we've done one of the fairies and some leaves. And that has taken me 35 minutes. So, excuse the towel on the floor. You can see just over there, the Guinness one. And just to put as you can see it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what colour you think I should do the candle down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are one, please hit the notification bell so you're notified as and when I may upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one, hopefully in a day or two. Keep safe, everybody. I really, really appreciate you all and I want you to stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.